The book titled 558 Days is Yulandi Gorki's memoir detailing the suffering she underwent during her captivity. It was launched at Gray College in Bloemfontein where Pierre taught for 24 years before relocating his family to Yemen. Yulandi says life has been hard without the head of the family. Some days it goes well and some days the car goes in reverse and then we go backwards again. But at the end of the day, when I look back, I can I see that we are going and we are moving forward. Despite the trauma, Yulandi says she has forgiven her captors. God's love and forgiveness go hand in hand. You can't separate the two. We have to see and remember that everybody is God's creatures. They are made by God, they are human, and God knows everybody's name. So special are they to Him. Um, we must look at each other through the eyes of Christ and not through our own fleshly eyes. Yulandi Korki was released on January 10 and returned to South Africa on 13 January 2014. The gift of the givers helped negotiate her release. At the time of the kidnapping, Pierre was a teacher in Yemen and Yulandi did relief work in hospitals. The kidnappers demanded about 32.5 million rand in exchange for Pierre's safe return. I remember how he was very close to take Pierre out. I'm so sad because I'm, I'm maybe I, I can't see him with us today. But 56 year old Pierre was killed in Yemen in December 2014 during a failed rescue attempt by USA Navy SEALs a few hours before he was about to be released. Bale Samueti, SABC News, Bloemfontein.